How's it going everyone? It's Alvi from Weather Sponge 5000. Today is February 2nd, 2022 as I hope you guys are having a great Groundhog's Day as today we're going to talk about the next major snowstorm that's currently impacting the southern Midwest at this time and will impact those along the Ohio River Valley with not only heavy snowfall but potentially life-threatening ice accumulation as well throughout the midwest and even into the northeast but before i begin make sure to subscribe if you want to see more whether like you call to make sure to like if you like this video and make sure to turn on post notifications if you want to see even more weather like content so let's begin by taking a look at the current radar for the lower 48 of the united states and we of course see two features or two disturbances of winter weather that which in which one is located right around the detroit area at this time and it's bringing i'd say for the most part moderate to light snowfall as it did dump a decent amount of snowfall throughout the northern portion of the ohio river valley and the southern portion of the great lakes region where you guys did see a solid three to five inches of snow right around this area associated with these snow showers however this is far from the worst of the storm that you're going to experience because if you take a look at um towards your south towards the southwest of you guys we have a much more potent low that's developing with a much broader area of snowfall apparently this isn't loading up right now but here you see throughout oklahoma and texas what you would see is very heavy snowfall happening right now especially right around the oklahoma city area and you if you eat and if we take a look just the south of it we see some a little bit of freezing rain occurring and a little bit of wintry of a wintry mix occurring and this will be com um completely dangerous i'd say and potentially life-threatening with the amount of ice accumulation you are to experience in the south southern portion of the midwest and it even extending for northward as there's going to be enough convergence between the warm air and the cool air for a little bit of warming between the mid levels of the atmosphere to occur for some freezing rain to occur right between the snow the rain snow line and that could potentially be dangerous so you guys need to pay very close attention to this over the next several days throughout the midwest and going into the northeast let's now take a look at the computer models at this time and i'd say at this point for the most part both the computer models do agree that there's going to be a major snowstorm and they know exactly where the worst of the snowfall will occur and where the heaviest snowfall will occur. So at this point, the, the certainty is very high. We're currently right now in the event um, already for the northern portion of the Ohio Valley. So there isn't much um, uncertainty since we're only pretty we're pretty much experiencing this storm right now. So there isn't a lot of uncertainty, which is certainly good news. So pretty much at this point throughout the Midwest and Northeast, this is the time to take action because it's very unlikely that we're going to see any sort of major or drastic changes with the forecast over the next 24 to 48 hours. And you see that Northeast is going to experience some snow. And in my last video, which was yesterday, Today, one of the bigger questions was um, was how far north or south the rain snow line will be, and it seems like the rain snow line will be just north enough to where Boston and New York City will receive little snowfall accumulation. However, there's a possibility that in those cities you could experience a major ice threat even though you might not necessarily experience a heavy snow threat this friday so you still need to pay close attention to this in the big cities in the northeast such as boston new york city and maybe even as far south as philadelphia because you still could experience a large amount of ice accumulation which could be um, potentially dangerous and life-threatening on the roadways and could cause power outages and of course in the areas for a southward it's expected to be worse for you guys because if i were to show you guys the european models forecast when it comes to radar you see look at how how dark that pink is as um as that represents very heavy freezing rain accumulation occurring right along the ohio valley extending to right around memphis and little rock arkansas as well where you guys could experience over a half of a half of an, inch of an inch of ice which would be completely devastating for you guys as you need to pay very close attention to that 
if you're within that area where you're going to receive the heaviest of the freezing rain accumulation and even for northward again that snow will be um will still be a threat for those in right around the southern midwest as well so you want to make sure to stay prepared throughout these areas because this should be uh could, this could be a very devastating ice storm if you don't take the right precautions and let me show you guys the um, forecasted snowfall from the european model and this is what's expected what's left um to expect for the midwest and northeast and you see that you're still expecting a good area of 8 to 12 inches more before the storm is all said and done on top of what you already experienced um right around indiana ohio and extending to illinois so you still got a long way to go um, throughout the Midwest and the Great Lakes and and especially from Northeast where you could experience over a foot of snow from this storm and even for southward you see that just the northwest of Dallas Texas you could experience over six inches of snow same goes for Oklahoma City and even outside of it three to six inches of snow is still significant and this isn't even including the ice threat like I said so this is definitely something that will be very very dangerous for a lot of of the midwest and take a look at the gfs models forecast now pretty much very similar like i said there aren't major differences between the forecasts at this time the only small difference on those is that the snowfall is a little bit slightly further southward than the european model but at, it shouldn't make that much of a difference unless you're exactly on that rain snow lines so, um so if you're right around that area you need to still pay close attention because there is a possibility that maybe this leans more to GFS and you receive more snowfall. However, at this point, I'd say the certainty is high. So at this point, it's you guys in the Midwest and the Northeast just need to take action for the time being because it's pretty certain you will experience major a uh, major snowstorm if you're within the forecasted um if you're within the projected path of the storm. Now, let me show you guys the amount of winter storm warnings issued throughout the united states and this is very interesting because if we were to pretty much um cover the whole area between where the winter storm warnings are issued it would cover 2200 miles of the united states from a uh, northeasterly to southwesterly direction which is just an insane magnitude to see a snowstorm this elongated affect this many people over such a large area between 2200 miles extending as far west as new mexico and extending as far east as maine that's almost cross country at this point when we're talking about winter storm warnings issued so you so this is gonna affect millions of people and you guys need to take the right precautions throughout the united states and um what's interesting is if we take a look right along the mississippi river valley and explain to the western portion of the ohio river valley we now have ice storm warnings issued and i will not be surprised if this extends further northeastward once the time frame for when this ice storm um, is expected to occur for northeast gets closer and closer so this will be a major storm for millions of americans and make sure to prepare if you're under a winter storm warning winter weather advisory or an ice storm warning because it's going to be a major issue throughout the united states now let me show you guys a future cast radar so this is how the radar looks around right now um 10 p.m eastern standard time we do have snow um, throughout oklahoma and texas and snow extending through michigan ohio and indiana if i were to continue move forward we will see the slow strengthen and look at that rain snow line um extending through little rock arkansas as far to south as dallas and even for a southward into the metzco and texas border you guys are experiencing freezing rain that could be um potentially dangerous if you're driving on the roadway so make sure to keep that in mind and eventually this slow pressure system will sort of merge with this first area of of um low pressure where we're gonna see where we're gonna see pretty much a convergence of this of uh, um the, the precipitations uh area to um right around the ohara valley and this should extend the freezing rain line 
even further eastward. And if I were to continue to move forward, you see by 10 p.m., uh, I mean 10 a.m. on Thursday, the ice is extending through the Ohio Valley. Um, Columbus, Ohio was involved, Louisville, Kentucky, as this could be dangerous. And you see that right around the afternoon on Thursday, this does approach the northeast with very heavy snowfall. And I wouldn't say you will experience the worst of the ice threat until maybe very early Friday morning in the northeast once this low pressure system comes closer to you guys. And that's when we should see the ice accumulation throughout Boston, New York City. So make sure to keep that in mind on Friday that this is when the worst of the ice could happen in those areas in the northeast so make sure to pay close attention to that now in terms of the actual ice accumulation so this is how it looks for northeast and you see that just to the northwest of new york city you guys are expected to receive over a tenth of an inch of ice which is enough to cause some havoc on the roadways so you need to pay very close attention to that and extending through the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania, you could receive up to a half an inch to maybe even more ice accumulation in the higher elevations of Pennsylvania. So that is completely devastating. That could bring out power because all that ice accumulating on the branches will eventually put a lot, uh, put a lot of weight on the branches up to the point where they fall. And if they fall on power lines, that could cause a power outage. So you need a um, prepare in case of a power outage uh, uh, of in case of power outages in those areas and then if we were to take a look at the Ohio Valley you see that you guys are expected to receive over a quarter of, of an inch of ice which you definitely need to pay close attention to as well and up to a half an inch of ice in some areas which is just completely devastating and if you were to take a look further um, southward throughout the Mississippi River Valley throughout Memphis you could receive up to a half of the, a half of an inch of ice and this extends um, to Arkansas Little Rock Arkansas as well Dallas Texas could receive over a tenth of an inch of ice so this is definitely something that could be devastating that could bring out power and it's going to be very dangerous on the roadway so I emphasize for those in this path, you need to take the right precautions and not drive out Thursday into Friday in these areas. Now, let me show you guys my snowfall forecast. It's pretty much the same as yesterday. Um, this is total snowfall accumulation, by the way. This isn't what's left. This is what you should expect for the entirety of this storm moving through, as you should expect over a foot of snow right around the um indiana ohio illinois and i'm um, just north of st louis overfoot of snow i'm like saying the northeast as well you should expect overfoot and, but now i listed a major ice threat for these areas where the ice should be the worst and now this is extending more to the northeast as the computer models are forecasting that there's going to be just enough convergence between the warm air and the cold air for a major ice threat to occur so make sure to keep that in mind throughout the united states and i hope you guys all stay safe during this major winter storm but i thank you guys for watching and i hope all of you stay safe and all of you have a great day